Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on our YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be discussing center stands and why I chose the center stand that I did. But before I get into that, guys, I wanna say a big thank you to everybody out there. Subscribe to the channel. Look in the channel if you haven't already. Look around, we got over 90 bagger-related videos in there. Guarantee you'll find something. Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it and it'll let you know every time we upload a video. Now I wanna get into the center stands, guys. Over a year ago, I decided I wanted to get a center stand for the 14 Street Glide. So if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I really do my homework pretty extensively before I order something. I wanna get the best I can get for the money that I have. Center stands may not be that big of a deal to a lot of guys out there, these bike builders, and you see thousands of them at the bike shows, every bike's sitting on a center stand. Uh, but through your everyday garage Joe like me, center stands was a whole new ball game. First thing I did was jump on the forums just like everybody else does and hey, what kind of center stands is everybody running? You're gonna see the same three or four center stands that keep popping up all the time. Now, I'm not the type of guy that just gets on there and orders the first one that pops up and there's 50 people that say get this one and 30 people say get this one, so this one must be better. Um, no, some of them have been around a lot longer. Some of the names are a lot bigger. Those, those are naturally gonna come up a lot more than the other ones. Uh, but I wanna know about all of them. I wanna know which one's the best. Now, when it was all said and done and I did all my research, I settled on the SOB center stand, that Southern Oregon Baggers. You can check them out at sobaggers.com. One thing that concerned me was me having a crossover pipe. If you're one of those guys like me that's got the duels on it and the cross under pipe, that's something that you're gonna have to deal with. Um, you can watch my past video that I did right after we put the center stand on or actually while we were putting the center stand on and all the issues that I had to work out to get the center stand to work with a bike with true duels. One of the biggest things that sold me was the all steel actuator, guys. If you do your homework on some of the other ones, you're gonna find out there's plastic inside those actuators and that was a no-go for me. Uh, it's kind of a no-brainer to go with an all steel one. CE approved actuator, it's actually waterproof and fully adjustable. Completely sealed, doesn't need a little rubber boot on the end to keep the water out of something else and just go bad and you have to replace later on down the road. And I just don't know about you guys, but I'm not dropping this bike on anything that has plastic inside of it that could break or fail, guys. All steel actuator, that was one of the biggest things that sold me on the SOB center stand. Of course, these center stands are all TIG welded and you can get it in a couple of different flavors. You can get the gloss black, matte black or you can just get it raw so you can custom paint it to your bike the center stand comes pre-wired guys all you got to do is get a power and a ground to it and you're good to go install the center stand under your bike run your switch wherever you want to put it so it says that it works with most bikes with cross under exhaust mine happened to be a pain in the butt but it was just my bike and my headers i have cobra power port headers and the way the pipe crosses underneath the bike it comes in at an angle like this to stay away from the belt and then comes back out the back of the bike. Not all of them are like that. I've had a ton of bikes in here that the crossover pipe goes straight across, so the center stand goes straight up. Now mine comes up and hits the left side of the header pipe, so I had to flatten a little spot on the header pipe, which was no big deal. A Little bit of heat, ball peen hammer, flatten that a little bit. Now the center stand goes all the way up. But 90% of the crossover pipes out there go straight across, so your center stand just goes up and clears the pipe. So not an issue, guys. Either way, you can make it work. One way just takes a little bit of extra effort on your part to get it to work. And I'm not here to tell you to buy the SOB center stand. I'm just doing a one year review on this. It's been on there, it's been perfect. Absolutely no failures with it. Just do your homework guys. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80,000 dollar bikes and that's what you're parking your bike on. Whatever center stand you decide to go with, please just do your homework and make sure that you know how those actuators are made. Make sure that you know what you're getting. Don't just take some guy's word for it in Facebook forums or over in the Harley forums because that's what they run and that's what their buddies run. Everybody out there in the forums wants to get the best product they can get for the cheapest price. And I see a lot of guys just going for the cheapest price. They don't really care how it's made. They know 40 of these guys run them and it's the cheapest one, so that's the one they're gonna get. They don't even do the homework on it. Saving money is all good with me, guys. Hell, one of my series is called Balling on a Budget. You know, all, most of us garage guys are building our bikes and, you know, we've got a budget. Me trying to save 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks uh, is not a big deal to me when it comes to what I'm actually putting my bike on. It's not like a piece of chrome that if you don't like it, you can sell it and replace it with something else. This is what you're parking your bike on, guys. Like I said, guys, I'm not knocking any companies that are out there. This is the one that I chose. This is the one after doing all of my homework. This was the best one for me. And after a year, it's worked flawlessly 
every single time. So if you want to get a hold of one of these, the best thing you can do is just go over to SO Baggers, check out the website. There's a couple of different options on the center stands that are on there, tells you about the company. The best thing you can do before you order is give Ronnie a call and he'll walk you through the steps on which center stand is going to best suit you. You can find Ronnie Hickman over on Facebook. Check him out. I didn't know that guy a year ago and I bought a center stand from him and I probably drove him absolutely nuts with phone calls and text messages because of the issues I was having with my exhaust. It wasn't his problem, it was my problem and the guy helped me and was there for me all the way through the process until I got it figured out. And to me guys, him, him walking me through that process uh, was amazing. So uh, that, that's just good customer service. That's just good people right there. So guys, once again, this is just a one year review on the electric center stand that I chose and the reasons why I chose this center stand. And as always, man, if you guys have any questions about the center stand, the exhaust issues, anything like that, anything that you came up with, drop it in the comment box down below. I check YouTube every day and I'll help you the best as I can. But I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and get back to work. Until the next video, as always, be safe, keep your knees in the breeze.